there's a circular region of uniform magnetic field. The radius of this region is 0.15 meters. Concentric to this region of magnetic field are two circular conducting loops. The radius of the small loop is 0.1 meters. The radius of the big loop is 0.2 meters. If the uniform magnetic field is increasing at a constant rate of 0.005 teslas per second, find the induced EMF and the direction of the induced current in each loop. The Faraday's law of induction says uh, the induced EMF is uh, negative n times uh, delta phi b over delta t. We have two loops, but they are two separate loops. So for each individual loop, there is only one turn, so n is 1. And when the loops are in this orientation, the phi b is simply b times a. Because for both loops, the area is not changing. Area is a constant. What's changing is the magnetic field. So we can take the constant area out of the delta. Therefore, this will turn into negative A times delta B over delta T. Now let's look at the two loops separately. For the small loop, the induced EMF is negative. Remember the sign really it's not important, so if you leave the sign out, that is okay. The area, for the small loop, the area would be pi r squared, pi times 0.1 squared. And the times the delta b over delta t, that is the rate at which the magnetic field changes. And the magnetic field is increasing at this rate. That means the magnetic field is changing at the rate of 0.005 teslas per second. So that's the delta B over delta T, 0.005. So if we do this calculation, we will get, we can have the negative or not, 0.000157. And what's the unit for induced EMF? It's uh, volts. Now let's look at the big loop. For the big loop, the induced EMF is also the negative A, the area. Now the big loop has an area of pi times 0.2 squared. But do we use that area? No, because the area is the area for the magnetic flux. There is no flux in this region. There is only flux in this region which means uh, we have to use this radius, the radius for the region with the magnetic field, so we have to use 0.15. So it's uh, pi times 0.15 squared times the delta B over delta T, and this uh, is the same rate, 0.005. So we get 0 0.000353 volts. Next. Let's find the direction of the induced current. We have to first check and see whether the magnetic flux is increasing or decreasing. Because the magnetic field is increasing, so the flux must be increasing. That means uh, the magnetic field, the original magnetic field and the induced current's magnetic field, they must be in opposite directions. The original magnetic field, those dots coming out of the paper. So the induced current's magnetic field must go into the page. And this is true for both wire loops. So if we want the magnetic field inside the wire loop to go into the page, the current must go clockwise. So the induced current is clockwise for both.